Hello, people. Name's Grimith. Welcome to the show. Last time I spoon-fed you all some intro cutscenes and pontificated on how much I love Fallout's instruction manual. Today we're going to explore Shady Sands, which those of you unfamiliar with the original Fallout may recognize in some fashion. While I'm thinking about it, you can't spoil this game for me. I already know what's happening. Uh, however, please be mindful of the comments you write, for you may end up spoiling this game for others. By the same token, folks who've never played this game before and are overly concerned about not knowing anything, don't go sifting through the comments, then complain if you learn something you shouldn't have. You want blind? Go watch blind. Also, any reasoning you folks may try to impress upon me will completely miss the mark if said reasoning comes from Bethesda-released Fallout games. I've never played them. I have no interest in doing so. Cool plot points or revelations you wish to share about the nature of vaults? Sails right over my head. The year's 1997, boys and girls, and the closest apocalypse to us is Y2K. True story. Now, let's talk to one of Shady Santa's guards here, who looks unhurt. Welcome, stranger. We don't see your kind often. Uh, why not? Look, Shady Sands don't need your kind from the hub, or junk town, or wherever you come from. We do pretty good by ourselves. The last trader from the hub sold us a malfunctioning irrigation pump. We've had it with your dirty deals. You got it all wrong? I'm not like that? Well, maybe you aren't. You do seem a little different to me. I, I tell you what. You should go talk to Aradesh. He is in the center of town. Okay, bye. What do you have to barter? Uh, upon further reflection, I have decided that I would not attempt to steal items from people till I had finished various plot points within Shady Sands. I was thinking of doing, like, some sort of bad guy playthrough. I don't care enough. I might try to shy away from karma. Ew, karma, but... Nah. No big deal. It allows me to show more of the game. And that'll be fine, since this is... A perp this is being recorded for. The enjoyment of others, and not necessarily my own. Uh, oh, we're, we're gonna have another situation like this, huh? Oh, okay, now he says something else. Yeah, right. So you say. Just don't get in any trouble, okay? No problem. And uh, here we have a short, stocky man. He has the confident, relaxed stance of an experienced fighter. But before we talk with him, let's see if there's anything on this shelf. There it is! Woohoo! I will be taking your gun shoot bullet things. Um. I don't remember exactly which shelves in Shady Sands has loot, so I'll end up exploring them all at some point, I'm sure. Oh, we're here. Let's save the game. This is LGWI-004. All right, short stocky man. What's up? Hello, stranger. You look like you're new here. What's your name? <laughs> I have... I just decided on this voice. I'm gonna roll with it. I'm Grimoth. Good to meet you. I'm Ian. Um... What do you do here, Ian? How's it going for the merchants of the home? However, I shot during a raid by bandits. I've been staying here since the people have helped me recover. Still, my knowledge of the outside world and my experience make me useful here. I don't know what I'm going for here. <laughs> it's not really a definable accent. i uh, are just making fun of things. I'm sorry to hear about your injury. Thanks. It's been healing up well, thanks to Roslo. What can I have you with? Tell me about the raiders. I, I, I'm done with that accent. There are three groups, the Cons, the Vipers, and the Jackals. They pretty much hate each other, but they all raid Shady Sands. Just pretend he's constantly speaking in that fashion. Tell me more about Shady Sands. Shady Sands is a small but self-sufficient community. The only trouble here is with the bandits and the Rad Scorpions. Why are the Rad Scorpions trouble? I've never met one. Rad Scorpions are very dangerous. They have a poisonous stinger in the tail, and they are very quick. Aerodesh has been trying to find a way to get rid of them. If you feel brave, you could talk to Aerodesh about them. Thanks. Yeah, I wasn't done with you yet. So, Grimoth, what can I do for you? Tell me about Shady Sands. Um, are there many bandits? 
There are several. They come from various groups. They steal our food and occasionally shoot a few people. Seth organized the guards to help fight them off. Can you tell me about Seth? Seth is a very brave fighter. He occasionally goes to the Red Scorpion Caves, kill a few Red Scorpions, but they always wind up coming back. There are just too many for him to fight. Okay, thanks. Let's try again. Tell me about Shady Sands. Are there many bandits? There are different groups. Who are they all? There are three groups. The Cons, the Vipers, and the Jackals. They pretty much hate each other, but they all raid Shady Sands. Okay, thanks. <laughs> all right. Could you give me directions to the hub in Junktown blocks, k -Law? The hub is a big trading center, far south of Shady Sands. It's run by several different caravan groups of merchants. The Water Merchants, the Crimson Caravan, and the Fargo Traders. It's... Sm oh, sorry. Junktown is a little south on a ways west. It's smaller, but still a good place to drop in for a drink. It's overseen by a fellow by the name of Killian Darkwater, the local shopkeeper, sheriff, and mayor. Thanks. Eh, what do you have to barter? That's right. He has more items, including stim packs, and he has ammunition. That's because he is the first person, well, he's the He's likely going to be the first person you encounter whom you can actually bring on as an NPC to help you in your endeavors. Your travels. However, I will not request anything from him just yet. The reason for that is, uh... <laughs> well, I'm not that sociable person to begin with, but my speech skill is not that high, and even if it were, I don't think I have the caps to pay him. Yeah, I don't have any caps. I need to sell stuff. I guess I could do that with him. You have caps, right? How much is one of these flares worth? Like, 15, 20? Oh, okay, 35. Sweet. Um, it's worth noting that... The value of goods, uh, your value and the value of your opposing person's goods, is going to be dependent upon your barter skill, which is dependent upon partly charisma. Hint, mine's not that high. And since I pick gifted, I don't have as many skill points. Like, my skills aren't as high, because I've relied on my innate abilities. I suppose I can scoop up 35. Although, really, if I'm going to drag him into my party, then it doesn't really matter whether I give him a great deal or not. So, I will take all of that, and I'll give you a better deal. Have two flares. I may need those bottle caps to convince him to join me. Now, as for other people, I might, maybe I'll find some bottle caps strewn around this place. I do not recall whether that is a possibility. Anything in here? Well, there's toilets. A crude but effective toilet. There are some leaves dropped into the hole to manage the odor. And, uh, there's a kid milling around. Hey, little kid. How's it going? Hi! Hello. Hi! Where are your parents? I don't know. I'm around here somewhere. Will you give me a description of the kid? Oh, well, the kid's unhurt. Now, <laughs> here's something I didn't realize for quite some time. Uh, whenever I first played this game, I was like, Oh my goodness, there's an entirely different area of Shady Sands over here for me to explore? My goodness. More shell. Oh, damn kids. Peasants, the Brahmins sure do stink this time of year. Don't bother me. I got nothing to say to you, stranger. Alright. Got any Brahmin burgers? I. I'm pretty sure my character has no idea uh, what those even are. Welcome to Shady Sand, stranger. What's the deal with this place? We are a true community. We all work and share together. Ah, one of those. How do you survive out here? We have farms and irrigation, and we herd Brahmin. Everybody contributes their skills to making something useful. Who's your leader? Eridesh is our current elder. With his experience, he helps to lead the community. Thanks. Now, was there anything on the shelf of the room that you just left? Big money? Alright, we got some rope, and we got a scout handbook. 
which is going to be useful. On account of the fact that we have lived indoors our entire life, that is a very nice looking bed, which is cool. Nice to see you. Now these are Brahmin. Moo. <laughs> a two-headed mutant cow, which is a domesticated animal. You see the water supply to Shady Sands? This is too little water to supply your vault. <laughs> Here the red scorpions killed again last night. Let's, let's fiddle around with it. You see well. Alright, screw you people. Um... Bye. Anything else we got rocking and rolling out here? Maybe off in this direction? I said... Maybe off in this direction. Respond to my commands, Virtual Grimoth. Alright. Maybe not. A cart. A crude but effective agricultural cart. do 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 Going to explore JD Sands. <laughs> it's, that music has nothing to do with this game at all. Have a pot? A finely crafted pot. The people of Shady Sands have some awesome things, guys. I'm not gonna lie. They're doing well for themselves. Mutated corn stalk, which seems to be thriving under these conditions. Mutated cabbage, which is thriving in the warm weather. And a weather-beaten farmer. He looks unhurt. Good day! Hello. What can I do for you? What's your name? I am called Curtis. What can you tell me about your village? Our village is small, but we support ourselves. Aside from the attacks by raiders and the occasional red scorpion, we have no problems. Eridesh is a good leader. What are you doing? I am a farmer. We irrigated the desert many years ago. Although the wasteland is harsh, it is possible to grow things with patience and time. I see. You seem to be doing pretty well. Now, um... If memory serves... Uh, this is uh, drawing upon my extensive knowledge of the game. If you have a high enough science skill, you can suggest to the farmer crop rotation to improve the quality of plant life here, and thus, you know, increase their food supply and what have you. My character obviously does not qualify. That's because... You take a significant penalty to your skills on hard difficulty. And I haven't put any points in science to begin with, not to mention the fact that I picked Gifted. However, I think if I throw in Crop Rotation, and the Ask About, uh, Tell Me About, that they could have potentially triggered it. Oh hey, you gained 500 experience points for helping to improve the agricultural shady sands. Eh. Eh, I'm fine with it. <laughs> I was immediately trying to gauge whether I felt bad about that. No. See, my character is so awesome because he lived in a vault for all of his life that he knows about intelligent things. I mean, his intelligence is heroic. That's what the Overseer would say. Heroic intelligence. His outdoorsman is all of negative 7%. That should be improving uh, whenever we read the Scout Handbook. Which won't be that bad. There's a building here. We are not going to go into it just yet. Not going to mess with those people. There are people in there. Spoilers. We have an obelisk here. A pillar, rather. This pillar is the showpiece of the Sh Shady, Sh Shady Sand Square. It tells stories to remind the people of hope and peace. That's dumb. <laughs> That's dumb. Who cares about hope and peace? All right. We have another Scout Handbook. Sweet. I'm not sure whether, like, the loot piles that you get in this game are, like, randomized in terms of, like, the things you can pull off the shelves. I don't think so. But I can't swear to that. I, I haven't looked up the game mechanics enough to be able to swear for absolute certainty on that. While I am thinking about it, I want this rope... And I want your bottle caps. And I will trade you... Well, how many knives do I seriously need? I will surrender four caps. Well, there you go. That's an equal deal, right? 
Hooray! Goody, 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 goody. I, that should give me close to 100 caps? I forgot exactly how much I got from me. Wow, 101! Sweet. Alright. Let me go ahead and uh, visit Ian here. I guess I'll go ahead and... Well, actually, before I do that... Let's make a pit stop down here in this building. I guess we'll save Ian for a bit. No need to rush into things. Alright, now this is the medical building. Roslo is there. It's late. Come back in the morning. Uh... Okay. No. You will be... I, I didn't have an option there. I had to pick that, guys. I tried pressing escape. And you have, uh, Roslo's wife. You have to come back in the morning. Please let us sleep in peace. Fine, 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 fine. I don't think this is gonna work, because I'm playing on hard difficulty and my skill ratings are just too low. This would have been something where I'd actually put points in the sneak, but I have done this before in the past. I better not show it off, because I want to how to keep results, and if I end up pissing him off, then I'm gonna have to kill everyone at this damn camp. I'll wait until I pick up Ian, at least. I should be able to enter the back. Because there is a guy laying back here. A pale, wiry young man. Hello, I'm sorry, but I'm not feeling too well right now. Please, if you can help find a way to fight the Red Scorpions, talk to my brother, Sam. <sighs> Fine. Fine, 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 fine. I will be back to steal your shit later. Or to kill you. What are the two? I, I, I am really committed to that whole... And like I said, guys, I'm pretty serious. If I fail to steal, I'm, I'm gonna kill people. Or they're gonna have to kill me. <laughs> I'll keep those results. Alright. Over there in the corner, we have Aradesh. He's the leader of the village. Over here, we have Tandy... And we have a busy cook. Too busy to talk right now. Get this, get this meal ready. Hmm, that smells really good. I bet it tastes great. Why, thank you. I'm sure you will enjoy it. Thanks for the compliment. I'm going to tell all my friends about you. <laughs> Interesting. Hello. Don't bother me. <laughs> These fucking peasants. Alright. I'm going to potentially get my... Ooh rocks I uh, you're gonna have to forgive me for not being there. I think they're only worth one bottle cap each I'm not so desperate for bottle caps that I'm gonna scrounge up one by one we, we are going to share communications with Tandy here she may look a little familiar hi I heard there was a traveler in town but I was kind of skeptical until I saw you my name's Tandy. What's yours? By kind of familiar. You know, I guess that was a stupid statement in retrospect. It, it really... I'm just going to shut up. My name's Grimoth. Well, how do you like our little town? Bored yet? Hell yes! There's nothing to do here but watch the Brahma, mate. Finally, someone else who sees. Of course, you've probably been everywhere, so this... This must be hell for you. Well, if you're so bored, why don't you leave? Me? Leave? I wish. I don't know enough to leave alone, and no one else wants to go. And worst of all, my father says he would have a heart attack if something happened to me. Tough situation. Can I ask you a few questions, though? Sure, I guess. I've never been out of here, so I don't know what help I can be. So, what you need? What else is around these parts? There's a bunch of cities down south, but since you're such a great traveler... I'm sure you know that already. Yeah, I'm such a great traveler. Thanks. No problem. Anything else? What's going on around here? We got rad scorpions. I mean, I know it's not a good thing, but no one's died from the stings. And it's the closest thing to excitement we've got here. Have you heard any stories from down south? Just stuff. Thanks. No problem. Anything else? Uh, how do you like it here? Yeah, it's okay, I guess. I mean, it is home and all, but it's so boring. You know, I want to see the world. 
That's understandable. You're so bored, why don't you leave? Sure, I guess. I've never been out of here, so I don't know what help I can be. So, what you need? I'm glad these things display properly. Oh, uh, the cutscenes might be a little war garbled due to the windowed mode, but at least uh, these little special NPCs they show correctly. Um, I'll just go ahead and pitch some things. I mean, it's pretty rare whenever we actually see a voiced NPC. This is only the second one we've encountered uh, beyond the overseer, so we'll just throw out some stuff. Why not? Why not? Um, <laughs> I never heard of it. <laughs> I actually snorted there. That was great. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Let me correctly type that one more time just to confirm. I don't know. You might want to ask Seth or my father about it, though. You really don't get out much, do you? Um, okay. Junktown? Junktown's a small city to the southwest. It's supposed to have pretty good trading, but my father won't even look into it. He says we need to stay protected. Yeah, right. Caged is more like it. How about the hub? The hub is supposed to be a great city to the south. I've always wanted to see it, but I've never got the chance. Vault 15? Mm, doesn't ring a bell. Rad scorpion? I've actually seen one, even if it was from far away. They're nasty creatures with claws and a big stinger, and their poison can be deadly if it isn't treated. You should talk to my dad, Aradesh. He knows more about them. Um, uh, raiders. Pretty bad bunch, or so I've heard. My father knows more about them. He never tells me much about the outside world. Or the inside world, apparently. Aradesh? Aradesh is my father. He's okay as far as dads go. Um, Seth? Seth's the captain of the guards. My father tried to set us up once, but he is not my type. Oh. Roslo? Alright, no voice clip for that one. But at least she actually knows who Roslo is. I'm <laughs> like, shady shit. God damn it, game. <laughs> um, Ian? I don't know. You might want to ask Seth or my father about it, then. Uh, Brahmin? Mm, nope. I never heard of it. Okay. Uh, I can't think of anything else that my character would know about right now. Obviously, you might want to ask for a water chip. Duh. Tandy? That's me. Who else did you think it was? Okay! Well, that's about it. Thanks for your time. Well, thanks for talking. We don't get many strangers here, so it's always good to talk to new people. Well, <sighs> see ya. Bye. Good talk, everyone. Matter of fact, I'm actually going to save it in the good talk. Now, you can spoil the attitudes of these NPCs. I figure, you know what, I'm in a good mood this morning, since I'm here. I'll... I'll upset her. <laughs> Hi. I heard there was a traveler in town, but I was kind of skeptical until I saw you. My name's Tandy. What's yours? The name is Grimoth. Remember it. Well, how do you like our little town? Bored yet? Uh, I guess it's okay. Yeah, well, you don't live here. There's nothing interesting to do. And believe you me, Brahma tipping gets old real fast. Well, I'm sure you're exaggerating. You live here all your life and see how you like it. Anything else you want to know? Um, how do you like yeah, it here? It's okay, I guess. I mean, it is home and all. But it's so boring. You know, I want to see the world. It seems nice and safe here. Yeah, real safe. And so boring, I think my brain's gonna leak out of my ear at any moment. Why don't leave? you leave? Leave? Sure, I guess. I've never been out of here, so okay. I help I'm I trying make. to think of some... So, what you need? I don't think Tandy has something that I can uh, say that would upset her enough that uh, she would get so cross with me that she'd stop talking to me completely or, you know, get so offended that she'd swing a fist at me. But as you can see, her, uh, her facial expression there has definitely shifted. Eh, I'm okay with that. Well... And, uh, unlike with the Overseer, who's pretty kind and 
friendly, because of course he has to be, because you're the last living hope for Vault 13. Hello again. What can I help you with now? These NPCs kind of keep their attitudes. I'm good. Let's go ahead and load Good Talk. Did that change? Okay, she's here. Hello again. What can I help you with now? I'm good. Well, thanks. See, she actually thanks me there. That's nice. Alright. Hey, Aridesh. How's it going, bro? Aridesh is fun to mess with, too. I don't know whether I can pull a Shady Sands Palooza like I did on his daughter, but we'll see. Greetings. Your business in Shady Sands might be... <laughs> Shady Sands? Whoops, I'm lost. I'll just be going now. I do like this answer. I'm a, from a small village west of here. I'm just exploring, and mean you no harm. I know of no village to the west. Have you been through the mountains west of here? Ah, uh, well, to my regret, I have not. Which begs the question, how did you make that passage? It was pretty tough, but I made it. Yes, mm, yes, yes. <laughs> I shall believe you, for now. But we do not trust easily, especially those who might be dangerous. Know that Seth and I will be watching you. Well, that was a fun conversation. I mean, if you're going to end our conversation so soon whenever I was going to ask you for help, and I'll just piss you off. Greetings. Your business in Shady Sands might be... Shady Sands? Whoops, I'm lost. So be it, Wanderer. Seth will show you out. <laughs> oh, good times. I don't suppose you say anything different, do you? Nope. What does Aridash say? I'm just fiddling around the game, guys. I know, no real progress, but it has been a long time since I've explored these various arcs and what have you, and I am curious to relive them for nostalgia's sake. Hello? Greetings. What may I help you with this fine day? Oh, he looks normal again. Eh. Goodbye. Goodbye. All right. How else can we offend you? Now, do keep in mind, I do get more dialogue options, courtesy of my heroic intellect. Someone who is uh, playing this with more handicapped intelligence has a... is a... Uh, Certainly has a uh, more difficult time with dialogue, that's for sure. Mintats may be your friend in that situation. Because you're kind of limited. Smooth Talker can help, too. But that's that's just taking the easy road out. If you're going to go with low intellect, you might as well just ignore Smooth Talker. Greetings. Your business in Shady Sands might be... I'm from a vault to the west! My people are dying of thirst and I need to find a water purifier chip for them to survive. That sounds like someone who's wide-eyed and confused about the world, might say. Wanderer, I shall believe you. For now. You may enter Shady Sands, but be warned, your every move will be watched. <laughs> we actually get to continue dialogue here. I was wondering if I could ask you a few questions. Certainly. What do you wish to know? What can you tell me about the other towns around here? Junktown lies south of here, though there is little in the way of visitation. From stories, I'm certain there are cities south of that. Thanks. Uh, can I ask you a few more questions? Certainly. What do you wish to know? What's going on around here? Oh my, yes. Great packs of rad scorpions are killing our herds. We don't know where they're from, and no matter how many we kill, there's always more. From my understanding, there was a rad scorpion cave. Go on. And now the monsters are attacking my people. Roslo is trying to find a cure for their poison, but I'm not sure how it goes. Well, I'm feeling stupid. And I guess it would be cool to actually see you smile. So I made your daughter smile. <laughs> Alright, Grimith. Come on, man up here. And, uh, you know, we'll be traditional goody-goody two-shoes here. I'll help you get rid of those things. 
Mm, yes, 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 yes. Please talk to Raslo. He possesses far more information on these creatures than I. <laughs> but his smile there is totally worth it. <laughs> mm, yes, 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 yes. Please talk to Raslo. You have anything interesting to barter? You do have bottle caps. I would like to take 40 of those. K plocks, lol. Thanks, bye. And you can have two knives. You can dual wield those knives, man. I don't need lots of excess knives. You can keep that single bottle cap. I'm glad you have a sack full of one bottle cap, bro. Someone in the comments mentioned how, uh... His friend didn't realize the bottle caps were a form of currency in this game, and so he, he threw them away and disregarded them every time he uh, was wandering about. Okay, so do you know about Shady Sands? I can't really say I have heard of that. <laughs> the name is Shady Sands, right, guys? <laughs> I didn't know they actually did this for Shady Sand, so I'm briefly contemplating that I personally had a herder here. Oh, goodness. Uh, Aradash? I am he. I lead this humble town of Shady Sands. No, I've been typing it right! <laughs> Tandy? She is my daughter. It is she that makes this hard life worth living. Junk Town? Junk Town is south of here. Their merchants occasionally come to trade, but not often. The hub? I don't know. Okay. Vault 15? Hmm. No. No, I, I have not heard of that. Rad scorpions? Mean creatures they are. Be careful of their tail. Their poison can be lethal if not looked after. Raiders? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Very bad. <laughs> there are two bands of raiders that we know of. They call themselves the Vipers and the Khans. Vipers? Be very careful with such as these. Raiders who are fanatically religious can be quite dangerous. No one here knows of their base. Okay. Khans? Mm, yes. Yes, the Khans are nastier than the Vipers, let me tell you. These barbarians attack from the southeast. Your smile is seriously creepy, dude, and I kind of I kind of regret making it happen. Also, that's a, uh, I, you know, <laughs> I'm just going to let that one go. <laughs> Wasn't important. Roslo? Mm, yes, yes, Roslo is our doctor. If it ails you, he can heal it. I would wager he is just a little north of here at this moment. A uh, little north of here? Are you sure? Seth? A fine young man, Seth. Captain of our guards. He's likely to be at the guardhouse. Okay. Also, I'm not exactly sure why it's daylight outside your window, but... Man, you... Who am I to question your humble village? I think we are done with this interaction. I gotta get away from your creepy smile. Okay! I guess while I'm thinking about it. Hello again. What can I help you with now? Barter. Do you have anything interesting? Ooh, stim pack. Stim packs are, are very useful. That's serious business, lady. I am willing to offer you four knives. That's too, well. I like you so much. I'll give you. I'll give you a good deal. Here you go. You 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 have those four knives, lady. <laughs> well. <laughs> Uh, that actually... No, I still have my one knife. I, I was briefly concerned there. Okay. So, I was told to... Yes, 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 please talk to Roslo. We have something we could potentially do here. Involving the, uh, visiting the Rad Scorpions, talking to Roslo. But before we end this video, I suppose I'll try this out. Save this to four. Alright, Ian. What's up, bro? Could you help me out a bit? Your experience would be useful. Hmm. Tempting offer, since this place gets boring. Tell you what, standard rates, 100 caps, and you've got a deal. How about a piece of the action instead? 
Yes! <laughs> now, you might initially be concerned about help you out in exchange for my share of the loot, but, uh... I mean, he'll definitely get that, but he's not going to be, like, taking something like a hireling in Might and Magic 6 or 7 would. Let's go! It'll be good to get back in action, and I gain 100 experience points for convincing Ian... Ian... to join me on my quest. Now, uh... Back before I became smarter with uh, my dealings and Fallout here, I thought that the only way to uh, interact with equipment with my NPC was to just do it through barter. But of course, he always wants to have a good deal through barter. That's when I learned that you can use the steal command on your NPCs to swap out their equipment. You won't gain any experience from it, but they'll never get angry at you. Now, uh, he's always going to stick with his armor no matter what. That's a limitation of Fallout 1, but you can give him weapons. As a matter of fact, I should be able to... Uh, what weapons are you skilled with? I'm a good shot with just about any sort of pistol, and I can use a submachine gun, too. I also know how to handle a knife. Cool. I need to change formation. I want you to stay close to me. And uh, directions to Hub and Junk Town, sure. We'll go through that. Thanks. And nothing. And I'll go ahead and show you this off before. Steel is number three. God damn it, stand still. Here we go. So he's got his pistol there. He's got ammo. He'll equip this. I think he's got his knife equipped right now. And uh, he's got the two flares, naturally. He doesn't need those. I'll be taking those back. The um, Your NPCs can also be used as a limitless equipment storage. Uh, whenever you meet your carrying capacity, you can just offload to your NPCs and it'll be fine, so long as they don't, like, die, or you don't lose them in some other fashion. I think that an equipment layout isn't that bad for right now. I will give you... Oh, let's make sure we're a bit more even on the ammo. Kind of like that. And I like you so much, Ian. I tell you what. I'll give you four more stim packs. And you're not getting anything else. That's mine, damn it. Mine. That'll be fine. And... Draw your best weapon next time we go to the battle. It is worth noting, your NPCs can hit you, just like you can hit your NPCs. Uh, be wary about giving them burst weapons. But that, this video has gone on for a while. We have finished our tour of Shady Sands. Coming up next time... I may just venture to Vault 15 instead, and uh, come back to deal with the Rat Scorpions later. How close am I to leveling up? Wow. I'll have to think about that. I will catch you folks later. Toodaloo!